Dr. T. It appears as if we have visitors. Oh, well, hello there. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Ophelia Tottlebottom, but you can just call me Dr. T. We left Port from Sassafras Junction 12 months ago on an ongoing mission to find spurs. Spurs? You don't know what those are? Oh, my dear. Why, those are space birds. If you take space and birds and put them together, you have spurs. But to tell you the truth, I really don't think they exist. Now, they tell me they have bright yellow beaks and very brightly colored feathers and they flap their wings and fly through space. I've yet to see one, but I bet you can help me out. Be sure to tell me if you see any. And welcome to Starship Sassafras. Dr. T, your nephew Dexter is at the cockpit door. Oh, well, thank you, Val. Let him in. That's Val. She's our ship's computer. <sighs> Hi, Auntie. Oh, Dexter, you're looking awful sad and blue. What's the matter? Um, I guess I'm just feeling homesick. I'm trying to remember home, but... I think I'm forgetting. As hard as I try, I, I can't even remember what it looks like. Oh, sweetheart, come here. I understand. I miss it too. You know, all we have to do is use our imagination. Think about the birds and the trees and the wonderful flowers just like we're right there. I, I, I'm doing it, Auntie. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Now see, anytime you miss home, that's all you have to do. Thanks, Auntie. Oh, man. Imagination is great. Well, hello there, little guys. I tell you, I love those travels. Even though they're trouble, they're just the sweetest little guys. I just love it here on Starship Sassafras. Oh, better get back to work.
Dex? 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 Oh, oh, hi, Mr. Pickles. So sorry. Dex, you were a million miles away. I was just using my imagination. I'm thinking about home. Oh, really? I'd sure like to know what Earth looks like. Oh, it's easy, Mr. Pickles. Just imagine it. Okay, Dex, but the, you'll have to help me out because I've never been there before. Okay, well, there's trees and flowers and the sky is blue and it's full of clouds. Ah, I think I've got it, Dex. Cheese? Uh, I don't think you're doing it right, Mr. Pickles. Oh, well, don't you worry, Dex. I'll get it eventually. Okay, you keep trying. Uh, I'll see you around, Mr. Pickles. Man, I sure wish I could see what Dex was seeing. Hey, that gives me an idea. I'm just gonna need a ratchet set and uh, some bolts and some wires and, and a couple transformers. Come with us on a journey across the sky No worries, no work to do Come with us in our spaceship, we can fly We'll visit Pluto and Venus too Swing upon a star Catch us a moonbeam within our hands Come with us and we'll travel oh so far To stranger worlds and to distant lands Got no roadmap, but what do we care? We don't know where we'll go Hey, Dex, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Dex! Dex! What are you doing? Ah, oh, uh, hey, Calvin. I was just using my imagination to remember home. Inflammation? No, imagination. Integration? No, imagination. Toshi Station? No, imagination. Oh, imagination. What's that? Oh, it's great. Aunt T told me all about it. That's when you think real hard about something. And it's like you're really there. Oh, that sounds like fun. Dex, you got to teach me. 
Show me Earth, please, show me Earth. Dex, please, 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 show me Earth. Dex, please, show me Earth. Okay, picture this. There's trees and flowers and birds singing and butterflies. And cheese again. Calvin, you're doing it wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, Dex. This imagination thing is harder than it looks. Come on, guys. Just use your imaginations. It's simple, really. You just gotta think hard about it. Come on, Dex. Show us how. Imagine a field of lightning bugs. Imagine the warmth of Grandma's hug. Just close your eyes and you are Can I try, please? Sure, go ahead. Imagine a sunset that's orange and brown. Wait, can you buy sunsets by the pound? Calvin, you're thinking of cheese. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Imagination is my favorite thing. Play basketball with Jupiter or ring toss with the rings of Saturn. I can tell you what a joy it me feel happy even if I said it doesn't matter. That was fun, Dex. Let's do it again. Second verse, a lot like the first. Imagine you're flying up in the sky. Let me down. That's way too high. Don't worry. It's just in your mind. <laughs> okay. Imagine a fish or imagine a squirrel. Regardless of if you're a boy or girl, you can create a world. Of any kind. Imagine you're driving a steam engine train, an automobile, or an aeroplane. That sounds so cool, Dex. Let me try this. Okay. Imagine I'm walking up to the North Pole. It's flat and it's wide and it's full of holes. That's cheese again. It's Swiss. Yeah, I guess it is. Imagination is my favorite thing. Play basketball with Jupiter or ring toss with the rings of Saturn. I can tell you what a joy it brings. Makes me feel happy even if I said it doesn't matter. See guys, imagination is great. It sure is. your sister. Where is he? Where's that little pipsqueak? <clears throat> He's down there. Uh, hi, Bebop. Why is there toothpaste on my hairbrush? Well, you see, I was uh, trying to brush my teeth, and I couldn't find my toothbrush. So I saw that your hairbrush was just lying on the counter, and I Let decided to... Let me out him! Let me out oh, him! Oh, oh, oh. I am uh, going okay, to get settle him! Down, guys. This settle is down, the settle down. time! Oh, okay. Fine. But we'll talk later. What are you two squirts doing anyways? We were just using our interpretation. Imagination. Imagination. Oh, isn't that cute? You little guys are just learning about imagination. I've been using my imagination for years. Stand back and watch how a professional does it. So what are we imagining anyways? We were just imagining my home planet, Earth. Oh, Earth. I've never been there. I can do it. Um, what's Earth like again? Well, there's trees and flowers and butterflies and birds singing and... Cheese! Bebop, 
Why is everybody thinking of cheese today? Well, I just... This game is silly anyways. <laughs> Been doing it for years, eh? <laughs> cheese! <laughs> Hello again. I hope you all are... Oh, you know what that sound means. That's right. It's time for Space Mail. Tootie, bring in the mail. Oh, thank you, Tootie. Oh, look. It's another holopod letter from Gabby. Well, hey again, Dr. T. First mate Gabby reporting in. Hope everything's in tip-top shape aboard the starship Sassafras. <clears throat> Still waiting on you guys to come back and pick me up. I can't believe you left me. I promise I'll never oversleep again. Anywho, in today's video letter, I wanted to tell you about something that happened to me last week. You see, I went down to the park to play some basketball, but nobody was around to play. So I decided I would just walk back to the treehouse, when lo and behold, guess who I saw? It was some of our friends from Sassafras Junction. It was so great to see them. So we decided to use our imaginations. We pretended that the playground was a rocket ship. And I was the captain, of course. Everybody ready for takeoff? Three, two, one, blast off! We flew our rocket ship all the way to the moon. And when we sat down on the moon's surface, we decided to get out and stretch our legs. It was so fun walking on the moon. Then we decided to play tag, and that was fun too. And some of us went down the slicky slide. Then it was time for everyone to go home. We said our goodbyes and gave each other hugs. But I had to go back for one more slide. It sure was a great day at the playground, using our imaginations. Oh yeah, before I go, Dr. T, the kids had a special message for you. Put this right here, and this ought to just about do it. I think it's ready. Well, how is I supposed to know what Earth looks like? I've never been there before. I mean, come on. Well, hey, kids. You're just in time. What are you working on there, Mr. Pickles? Well, remember how you were having all that trouble getting the rest of us to imagine stuff? Well, I think I've solved our problem. May I present my latest invention, Imagination Station! Wow, cool! Neato! Just head right through the doors. I'll show you how it works. It's easy! Neato! Wow. Okay, kids, are you ready? Okay! Totally! Just bend and touch your toes! Jump up in the air! Spin around once! And woo! You're there! 
Neato. You guys in the mood for nachos? Wow, another great adventure on the Starship Sassafras. Who knew that with a little bit of imagination, you can go anywhere or do anything? Do you use your imagination? Well, if not, you should try. All oh, this talk about an imagination, <laughs> making me a little hungry. Tootie, bring me a snack, please. Cheese. <laughs> well, it's about that time again. Another day has come and gone. It's time to say goodbye. And if you find you're missing us, just look up towards the sky. Goodbye, everybody.